and here we are Friday afternoon and once again I don't know a congestion towards the city Yeah. Uh, today in the morning it was a cold one, minus two degrees Celsius, of course. So yeah, we have to get used to it. Especially because next week, I think, I think on next Saturday, we are expecting minus ten already. And there is a possibility of snow next week, even earlier, but we will see. Kaizde! Uh, Kaizde! Uh, we will see. Um, it has been already snowing this past week but you know nothing kept snow melted immediately but it was technically snowing in couple of uh, places around Slovenia in you know lowlands uh, but yeah Uh, today here in the morning it was the first time that we had like a let's say a frost on the ground on the grass so Lisa was in the morning uh, she started to roll I managed to capture only the second half when she was very happy when she was very happy yeah okay not, no touching no touching yeah, as you can see, she's back to eating. I hope that uh, in the morning I didn't give her uh, her her breakfast. Uh, she ate all the treats that I had on me during the morning. Kizde, kajšeno, eka, pridna, daš, kont, ah, ah. And now that's go. Okay, just Griva. Someone is in a good mood. Yeah, cook. Yeah. The thread got stuck in the throat. Yeah, so uh, during the morning walk she ate all the treats. Then uh, she went back to mom's bed. I said, uh, today mom went to work later than usual. So I said, uh, because Lisa rejoined her in the bed. So I said, mom, uh, when you get up, uh, make Lisa breakfast. So I assume she did. And everything was eaten. And I said today, uh, as I yesterday said, uh, I came today earlier uh, on my way back. Well, on my way back, I made a detour and got some McDonald's. Of course, Lisa got her nuggets. She ate them. Just six this time. So, yeah. And then I said, okay, we will wait some time before we go for a walk. And here we are. Uh, so yeah, today 
at 11 the signing of the collective contract for the public sector uh, was done uh, so they signed the contract I still don't know if this now also affects me and my colleagues but I think it did because you know I technically don't know I'm not a man okay let's go like this I'm not a member of any syndicates and I technically don't know which syndicate covers my job but yeah I think uh, because of the vast majority of the syndicates had now signed it even some that said previously last week that they will not sign it they did so yeah I assume that now uh, it's applicable to everyone in the public uh, sector and some time ago I also mentioned you know that there was a possible ban on electrical heating devices sources so now the government has changed its uh, has changed that directive so that the uh, water heaters you know the large water heaters that are used to heat up apartments will now be exempt and later it turned out that uh, they brought this directive to life because the EU demanded it but then it it was revealed the EU never demanded to uh, to ban the water heaters but this was apparently someone somewhere decided you know just unilaterally to ban all devices not just not just some specific devices um, and I think the main point was you know to ban or limit basically I think the best solution would be to ban uh, installation of such devices in newly built buildings not in the already existing because in you know some buildings you cannot you cannot remodel them to change um, to change this uh, let's say type of heating core for example so yeah and regarding that you know there was a, there was a new in so in october or november i think already in october a new once again national system of how the electricity is uh, calculated you know your your lizica no she's i had to step you know there is a step i had to go and she stopped just in front uh, the new system how the usage of electricity is measured and evaluated and of course um, and how much we can pay based on this was was uh, started to well it came into the effect and of course people were uh, because you know now I don't know quite a lot of people were saying that they will be paying much more than previous but 
the agency for the energy which is you know in charge of this said that vast majority of people will uh, pay less but apparently the people who in the past had or still have um, installed you know solar panels and different and then because they had so much cheaper electricity and then of course it is installed different electrical devices in the house or you know bought an EV some apparently also installed you know uh, heating electrical heating for their drive driving and so forth those apparently would be paying more now than before Kangriva okay very strange route that we are taking apparently and yeah the government now has basically um, has lowered the cost in one specific regard throughout the throughout this um, winter so until the end of uh, February you know you have to take into consideration that our Prime Minister uh, first of all he has a PhD and he was previously uh, a director of a state-owned uh, electricity um, electricity related um, firm company and his his family still then owns another company dealing with you know trafficking electricity selling and buying you know so you know this was his um, field of expertise Chucky is it near the river Chucky 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 Pretty clever, Tuki. Pretty, pretty. And I'm just watching. We cannot go to the right, as you can see. Yeah, well, we can. Well, now we can't. The whole street is closed, so we will go a little bit further. Yeah, and this year they had. Uh, redone traffic streets here in this area including as you can see there is a new orientation in several of these streets you know, quite a lot of these streets there were two ways and now as you can see they are putting in one way signs oh yeah Oh, and they all got notification that tomorrow they will be working here. So they should move their cars away. But as you can see, still everyone is parked. Okay, we will end on this point.